Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the optional arguments. To understand the optional arguments, we are taking the example here. Let us suppose that we have a procedure which we have defined. There is sub. Sub means there is no return type. Ankit. That is the name of procedure. Here we have passed two parameters or the arguments. One is by val a as integer, and second one is by val b as integer. Now these two arguments are passed, and here what we are doing, we are simply showing a message box and doing the sum of these two arguments, which is a plus b, and this procedure is ending with the end sub. So this is the procedure that we have created. Now here we are having the program. We want that inside the program we has to call the procedure. We know that what is the name of procedure? This is Ankit. So we are going to write the procedure name Ankit here. Then afterward we has to check out how many arguments are there. We know that there are two arguments. One is a as integer, and second one is b as integer. So two arguments we are passing. The argument one, let us suppose, is ten. An argument two is twenty. So two arguments are passed. Now, whenever we write this, this is the calling of procedure. So this is going to call the procedure, and afterward, both the values ten and twenty are provided to A and B. So here, first argument A is having the value ten, and second argument B is having the value twenty. So their sum, which is a plus b, that is ten and twenty is thirty, is shown to the message box. So message box is shown. Then afterward, end sub. So this is the normal procedure. But let us suppose that I am changing the arguments here. Assume that in the program we are writing the name of procedure. We know that the name of procedure is Ankit. So this procedure name we have provided. And in the bracket, we have only passed one value. Let us suppose that we have only passed the ten here, and bracket close. Now, what is going to happen? This is going to call the procedure because the name is there. Then afterward, the first variable which is passed as the argument that is a. Now that a value is ten. But talking about the second variable, which is b, so what will be the value for that? Here is the problem. In that case, it is a problem. This is not a standard program. But if I want that, if user provide only one argument, still my procedure will be called and it provides some output. Then we make the second argument as the optional. So second argument we are making the optional by using the optional keyword. So the optional keyword is used before that argument. Then afterward, whenever the optional keyword is provided with some argument, we are going to provide its value as well. So we are providing equal to let's say five. That means whenever the user is not providing this argument value, then we will consider the value as five. Now, with this optional argument, we are going to check how the program will work. Let us suppose that we are going to call the procedure with the Ankit ten. We have passed only one argument. Here, the procedure will be called, and the name of procedure we know that is Ankit, so this is called. Now, here, the first argument that which was provided was ten. So successfully, this ten value was given. Then talking about second, second argument we have not passed, so in that case it will check that it is optional. Optional means it is not compulsory to provide its value. So by value b as integer equal to five, so its value will be considered as five in that case. So we know that ten and five these are the values which will be considered. Now here a plus b. And ten plus five is nothing but fifteen. So here message box will be shown, and there sum will be fifteen in the message box. So we can say that optional arguments are the arguments which are optional, and they have the default value. 
so here we can see that the argument b is the optional argument because the optional keyword is used and they are having the default value which is 5 so whenever user is not providing the value of optional argument then the default value will be substituted so here we have learned the few important things about the optional argument the first thing is that optional argument have the optional keyword before the argument when the argument is optional then it is not required to pass their value if you are passing the value will be taken if you are not passing it will take the default value so if the user is not passing the argument value then the default value will be taken now we are going to take a real life example of program with the help of that we will understand how optional argument work 